So uh, they're for cane reduction, of course, and uh, I used to use, you know, coffee can lids and stuff, but I had these made. They come in one and a half inch and two inch sizes right now. And uh, those are the most commonly used sizes, you know, for the kind of thing that we do with cane reduction in those two shapes. So uh, you pop one on each end. You make sure it's, it's squished on there pretty well. And it kind of sucks on. And that's the whole point. It creates suction so that your uh, canes don't cave in at the ends, which, you know, we can't stand that. So uh, you make a waste in it like you do with any round cane. And you get it started. Uh, now this is a ton of cane when you think about it because it's going to be uh, beads. So it's going to make lots of slices to put on forms. And so I want it pretty small this time. But the way the caps work is, see, I'm going to press down right here and I'm going to make it into a barbell shape. So the only part of it that's going to be the size of the cap is just the very end. You'll have two slices on the ends. Um, and the rest of it will be whatever size you want it to be. And we're going to go small on this, small enough. And uh, once you can grasp onto it, uh, you can really reduce it very quickly. And this stretching motion, that just gets you tons of mileage. You get a lot of uh, reduction very quickly that way. And you don't get any distortion. So when you've got it the size you want, it's cut close to the caps. Uh, they're very durable. Uh, you're not going to hurt them. And you can use those little pieces for stuff. Uh, they're pretty cute looking and they're perfectly intact. So then you just straighten out the ends that were close to the cap. Now they're the same size. And you've got some really reduced material. You can take it down as small as you want to. Take a one and a half inch square uh, and I'm going to put the caps on it. Now I designed them in these shapes and sizes because that's most commonly used uh, sizes that, that caners work in. And this is the smaller of the caps that you get as far as square goes in that kit. It comes with eight. So you pop them on the ends like this and you create suction just by squeezing it like this. And you'll be surprised, you know, how tight those are on there. They're, they're really not uh, going to come off easily. So now that they're on there, that's really the whole key is the fact that um, you're creating suction with the cap so that the ends don't cave in on you. I know how disappointing that is. I've wasted a lot of cane myself uh, before. So you put them on there and you start to squeeze it in the center. And really you're just establishing a new size, just slowly. It doesn't take very long. Even the parts I cut out of this, you know, so it wouldn't be too boring. Uh, it took about nine minutes to reduce this cane in real life. Video is three minutes long because, you know, who wants to watch every second of it? So we're just squeezing it in the center. We've created a waist just like we do with the, the round canes, but just we're just keeping our dimensions flat, you know, and not caving in our corners. See, I can pull on those pretty well and I can um, stretch it out without the caps coming off. That's just the advantage. Those are um, a little bit thicker than the other types of things I've been using, like plastic, you know, cut out of lids and stuff. And you can kind of get a grip on it. That's why I recommend it. So now I'm going to press on the bottom, see, just like we did in the round one, and I'm flattening out a piece against that cap because that barbell shape at the bottom really hangs on too and it allows you to not waste a lot of cane because it's just that very bottom part that's going to stay that size. I had a lot of questions about um, reducing it all the way, but really the best grip is, is maintained by having that barbell shape. So it's getting bigger pretty quickly. Uh, it's probably about uh, 70 degrees in the room I'm in and it's moving really well. If you're in a colder environment, you just have to take a little more time. That twisting, that pulling, you get a lot of mileage out of that. So do that as soon as you can. Start to pull it. It won't uh, damage your cane. And just slice this off close to the edge. And um, your caps are tough. You're not going to, you know, cut them or scratch them up really. They, they'll they uh, last for you. You see there's no distortion. There's no nothing. It didn't cave in at all. Just press out those flared ends. And you can start making your cuts. Uh, I needed this down to this shape because I'm going to quadruple it basically to make some material for some uh, bracelets and stuff. I'm going to put these together, uh, give it another cut, 
and put it together again. And I may take it down to kind of a rectangle when I get ready to build the bracelets. I'll post pictures of them on Facebook. You can see them there. Maybe Instagram. So we're putting it back together. It matches up well. Um, you know, the lack of distortion on this kind of reduction technique really maintains your detail no matter how small it is. I'm just rolling over it with uh, a cane bender and that's all you need to do. So I hope you enjoy this. Yeah. You can find my things at tinypandora.com. I'll leave you a link below and uh, happy caning. See you next time. Bye-bye.